Hi there, this is Nereida La Sirena with Celestial Soul Wellness. And today we're going to talk about the law of cause and effect. Okay, um, the laws of cause and effect is, uh, how can I say, some really is understanding that every action has a reaction. We have energies, okay? <laughs> like me talking right now, the birds are not used to it, so they're going to react. Okay, our energies and the motives behind our energies and the frequencies is going to have an effect on our surroundings. We have to realize that. There is uh, this whole concept that people want to be rich or they want to be an adult so they don't have to worry about anything. They want peace. And really what they're saying is they don't want to have to take responsibility for their inner child actions or their and their ego actions okay and wantings and desires and that is never going to be the case all right so we have to always be aware that this life is not about us uh, i knew someone uh who would often say but what about me but what about me well that's your place to fulfill yours your needs okay um, without imposing your needs on others as much as possible, but to be thankful whenever someone does offer a service to you. Um, the cause and effect is also something uh, to uh, realize that the, the, the reaction to an action can also have consequences. And it's uh, what we're saying, it's a domino effect. Consequences is not something necessarily negative. It just means another reaction and another reaction and another reaction. When we use it in a negative sense, it says most people uh, with English vocabulary choose to use it in neg uh, a negative um, concept and then, then say rewards as a positive, but they both mean the same thing, is receiving something for that action, okay? And so it's continuous, continuous, the butterfly effect. I call it how butterfly wings cause a hurricane, okay? And so, also to understand as we reap what we sow, what we do, we make our bed, we lie in it. So if we didn't prepare, um, the harvest we didn't plant uh, in the summertime for the winter then we're not gonna have food for the winter and uh, just earlier this morning example I was uh, I mean we're in the middle of February no end of no actually it's a full moon today March first and uh, my I was telling my son I have this need in me that's saying we gotta like make a uh, sprout all the beans and cook them and then separate it and freeze it i go i don't know what's in me that has this this energy that's going on he's going it's the squirrel mentality it's the squirrel energy mommy relax you know um we don't need to remember fresh is better i'm like yes you're right fresh is better and uh and a lot of times, um, I like to bring up a lot of my silliness, my inner child silliness and, and ideas that come about because a lot of times people think, oh, you're a shaman, you're a guru, you're a teacher, you're a yoga master, Reiki master, and all that, um, you're ordained minister. They put certain expectations of holier than thou and that uh, people uh, on a certain caliber level um, uh, are going to be this divine uh, constant oneness and if that were true we wouldn't be here anymore okay so remember anybody who is here accept the humanness embrace the humanness because in a way it allows other people to be human too okay so remember that for every every action there is an equal reaction to it okay and so the frequency that we are um, offering our action mm, FYI carrot apple love it my son made it for me this morning when he does that to me that is giving me a box of chocolate to me he's saying I love you so much I want to keep you healthy I want to see you healthy. I want to spend more time with you. When someone gives you a box of chocolate, a bottle of wine, they're saying, I really hope you die soon. Maybe they took out insurance on you. Okay. Anyway, I know that sounds harsh. We could talk about that another time. 
But if you go all the way down, remember people are driven by two things, fear and love, all the time. Okay. Uh, so always understanding that, um, I'm looking down on my notes. Uh, I have my, you know, what some people call their, their spa books, their medicine notes, their, their personal notes of all this stuff, you know. Um, uh, I have all my information that I thought was uh, pertinent to me and in my uh, growth. A lot of times, too, with the cause and effect is um, we have to realize that we are here to grow, okay? And so sometimes uh, our ego is going to want to do something. And uh, again, a lot of people say, oh, I'm, I'm going to try and evolve to the point that I have no ego. Your ego is going to always exist. Okay, um, it, it's part of your lower chakras. Uh, when I say lower, I'm talking about area not that they're not as worthy. Okay, we're talking about your 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 um, root chakra, your sacral chakra, and your solar plexus chakra. All have to do with the ego. Okay, so and really uh, alleviating that, and um, it, it's something is understanding is. You cannot do away with that ego. So some of your actions, you'd be like, why did I do that? And then there's going to be a reaction going, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect that. And then your ego's like, well, don't admit to it. You know, maybe the people won't realize it. Uh, and um, then we cause ourselves, you know, uh, heartache. Uh, remember, karma is what we think of a situation, okay, and allow uh, to think about. So this cause and effect, going back, uh, you know, it, it's it's understanding, okay? And it also has to do with our frequency. How do we perceive something, okay? Someone might be like, oh, you know, um, I go outside, I'm going to get cold because their perception of what the weather is and the temperature is going to be different than someone else's. Someone else is going to be like, wow, I'm going to go outside, do some sun gazing, some grounding, feel really good. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take off my shoes and, and ground right now. <laughs> Beautiful grass. And so we can really, really see that the, the karma, the cause and effect is really a matter of perspective, if it's good or bad. As an astrologer, I would give a lot of chart readings and people will look at me and go, is that good or bad? And I'm like, oh, never ask someone if it's good or bad. You give away your power, okay? You are allowing another human, a, an entity that makes errors, okay? That's also driven by their ego. Even those people or us people who, who want to be more connected with the universe source and the divine creative, all that is, our Lord, you know? Um, it's ego driven too because we hopefully finally once maybe then I am worthy you know because for some reason in our inner child we feel like we aren't worthy okay so do believe that uh, it that that concept is ego driven um, even though it is masked under you know celestial and divination and I know I'm using a word from my um, uh, from our, our group, right, Celestial, but it is, and I, I do be aware of that, you know, and um, so having what drives us is going to create, you know, um, that result, so is it good or bad has to be really upon your own experiences, your own needs. What is your soul purpose? If you're not sure, come see me. I'll take a look at your chart. Because it's different for everybody. But on a general level, we're all here to serve. Me right now, teaching is serving you, okay? Where are the cats, you know, that we have, the domesticated cats? They're there to serve. They give energy. The dogs, the trees serve us. The mechanic serves us, right, for the cars. You might serve someone in a cubicle, okay, a company, who is saying that that product is serving the rest. Now, unless it's, um, you guys know, I'm a big, adamant person and passionate about um, eating as natural and raw and vegan as possible, okay? And so 
It is. I know. I'm like, you're going. <laughs> I was thinking right now when I said that scratching my nose, I was thinking, you know, all those uh, things when I was uh, in the Navy, I was in intelligence, they talk about, you know, when someone's lying, they're scratching their nose. And I was like, I'm not lying. I I've had, you know, <laughs> maybe because sometimes I still crave buttered popcorn. That is true. <laughs> um, but coconut is good. Anyway. As you see, these uh, these little quickies and, and talks that I give are very different than other people, and, and I'm not uh, for everybody, and everybody's not for me, and that's fine, you know? You just have to um, see what's good for you, okay? So, anyway, I hope you like this video. If you liked any part of this video, please share it, thumbs up, share with your loved ones, your friends, and anyone you think could benefit from this. Um, I uh, please look at uh, visit our. We welcome you to visit our website at celestialsoulwellness.com, all one word, or nereidalasirena.com. Se habla español. Je parle en français. Ich spreche Deutsch. Yeah. And um, we're uh, wedding officiants. We love we love marrying people. Okay. We got a uh, good sale going on right now. So if. Uh, you want uh, to get married or you know someone who wants to get married please put down as a special instructions YouTube as the code and you'll only um, we're, we're doing it up for a special discount of only $100 okay uh, for officiating a wedding so um, let us know uh, we do tarot and astrology readings energy healing Oh, most definitely, and take one of our classes, you know, come and see us. And if not, you could do the remote classes long distance. Again, my name is Nereida La Sirena. It's always a privilege and um, to share with you and um, be part of your life as you are part of mine. Jessica. Ah! <laughs>